Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on using the compute feature in SPSS to calculate measures of central tendency. So I have here a fictitious data set in the data view in SPSS. And you can see I have an ID number for participants. And I have 10 items, each representing a score on a particular construct. So we'll presume that all these constructs are related and we want to calculate some measures of central tendency, but we want to store them as separate variables. So to do that, we'll go to transform and then compute variable. So the first thing we want to do is we want to name the target variable. So for mean, I'm just going to name this one mean. So beneath the field, there is a button named type and label. So you can use the expression as the label, or you can label it something else. So I'll just, I'll label this average. And then you have the type, it can be numeric or a string. In this case, I'm going to leave it at the default setting of numeric. And select continue. So now we want to build the numeric expression. Now, of course, to calculate the mean, we could simply uh, add item 1 and then item 2 all the way out and put this in parentheses and divide by 10 because we have 10 items. Uh, but there is an easier way to do it. Over here in the function group, we want to move down to the statistical functions. And we'll double click on mean. And then we can move the items over. We want to separate them by commas. And I'm going to move all 10 over. As you can see, this method is more efficient, although it does still take some time to enter them in one by one. That's 8 and then 9, and then 10. So I'm going to leave the um, parentheses to close there. So you have mean, and you have all 10 items. And you go down here and click OK. And you can see there's the mean for items 1 through 10. So it did take a while to put those in. So if you wanted to run other measures of central tendency, like the median and mode, I'll show you a shortcut to that if you've already built something like the mean where you've had to put all the items in. So if you go back to uh, transform, select compute variable, I'm going to highlight this whole region, everything in the parentheses, including the parentheses, and copy them. So now I'll delete it and I'll put in median. And here I'll just use the expression as label and it'll be a string. I'll double click median. And for this whole area here between the parentheses, I'm just going to paste everything I had put in before for the mean. And this is, again, fairly straightforward. You see the execute function. And now we have the median value for these 10 items. So another popular statistic we'd want to run here, of course, would be the standard deviation. And I've reset this here. So we'll, we'll call this just SD and use the expression as the label. Again, it's numeric. And we'll go to statistical and it's SD standard deviation and we can paste the same thing we already have uh, in there which is the items 1 through 10 and click OK again you can see it executes and we have the standard deviation so we've created three new variables and each one provides different as a different function of the mean the median the standard deviation for all the items. 
in this data set we have 100. So once you move through that initial loading of each item, it's pretty easy to run additional measures of central tendency. I want to note here by going back to transform and compute uh, the other options. I won't run these, but there are other options that are fairly popular uh, in this statistical function group would be the maximum value, the minimum value, of course the variance, and you can also add all the items together uh, using sum. So you may be wondering what the CFVAR function is, and you can see here there's a description of it as the standard deviation divided by the mean. Probably not a function that you would use too often, but it is available here under the statistical function group. I hope you found this video on using the compute feature in SPSS to create variables related to central tendency uh, to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.